Do you know what to do with your home to get ready for the fall and winter season? Well, that's what I'm talking about today. Stick around. Hi, Samantha Perlman here with the Perlman Property Group and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm a realtor located in central New Jersey and every week I post videos about what it's like to live here and I answer all those most common questions about buying, selling, or investing in real estate. If this is something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and hit the bell so that you're notified of the new videos I release every Monday. For this week's video, I'm going to be talking to all of you about how to get your home prepared for the fall and winter seasons, both in the inside and the outside. You know, here in New Jersey, we actually joke that we don't have four seasons, that we only have two, summer and winter. It always feels like we go from one extreme to the other, from 100 degrees in the summer to 30 degrees in the winter. And spring and fall is usually about one to two weeks. <laughs> so I decided, since this seems to be the week that it's gonna be beautiful fall weather, that I'd come outside and record today's video. As you can see, I'm not in my normal setting. I'm actually located in William Warren Park, which is in Woodbridge, New Jersey, which is exactly where I'm located. This park is really great if you happen to be in the area. There's a lot of really cool facilities for use. Um, obviously, the park area behind me, they've got basketball courts and playgrounds and tennis courts, and the park is just huge and really, really beautiful. So if you're ever in Woodbridge and you're looking for a great place to have a quick picnic, this is a great spot to stop. So today I'm going to be talking to you about all the things that you can do both on the interior and exterior of your home to get ready for the harsh weather that we're about to have for the fall and winter season. I'm going to go ahead and start with the interior of the home first. So one of the things I always recommend, um, and you do this during spring, but I also think it's a really good idea to do it in the fall as well, is to clean out your pantry and clean out your medicine cabinets. Throw away all that stuff that you've been hanging on to that's probably expired that you maybe should have thrown out during spring cleaning but just didn't have the heart to throw it out now obviously if you're disposing of any medicine make sure you dispose of it in the correct way but certainly that pantry clean that out and get all that expired food out there and don't forget your refrigerator now's a really good time to take everything out of the refrigerator and wipe it down before you start stocking it full of those stews and soups that you're going to make this winter the next thing you want to do on in the interior of your home before you get to those colder days when you want to turn on the heat is make sure that your furnace filter has been changed out and clean and ready to go and you might also want to consider hiring a professional to come over to your home to do a once over on your system especially if it's older actually here in new jersey pc and g will do that if you call them um, they have something called the fall turn on well they'll come out and they'll do a once over on your whole system and they'll turn it on and make sure that it's all working properly. You certainly don't want to find out on that first cold day or cold night and you go to flip on the heat that it doesn't work. If you have any automatic light timers in your house, you want to go ahead and get those changed over to the fall and winter hours because you know we have shorter days now. This is for the ladies. Go ahead and swap out your closet and dresser. Pack away all your spring and summer stuff and bring out those heavy sweaters and all the layers you're gonna wear for the fall and winter season. Certainly if you have anything that you haven't worn in at least a year, if not longer, it's okay, I'm guilty of this too. Make sure to go ahead and pull those out of the closet and donate them. Don't just pack them up so that you can pull them back out next year, save that space. One thing people forget to do is back up your computer files. So if you haven't done that in at least a year, now's a really good time to do that. Another common thing to do this time of year is to check all the batteries in your smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors. And if you've lived in your home for a while, you might want to check your fire extinguisher and make sure that's still in proper working order. If you have kids, now's a great time to get a head start on cleaning out all the toys that they no longer play with and donating them. If you have older children, it's a really good idea to get them involved in this process. If you have a working fireplace that you plan on using this winter, now is also a really great time to have a professional come out, inspect the chimney, and to clean the flue. Don't forget to stick around until the end where I'll share how you can get a free printable version of this fall checklist. Before I get into the exterior of the home, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If there's any maintenance tips that you have questions on or any that I may have missed that you'd want to share, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Let's talk about what to do on the exterior of your home to get ready for the fall and winter months. The first thing I'm going to recommend is check your door and window weather stripping for drafts. If there's anything that needs to be repaired, go ahead and repair it now before those cold winter days come. Check your gutters and downspouts and clear any blockage that they might have. And while you're up there, check your roof for any um, cracked, loose, or missing shingles and get that repaired before snow ends up sitting on top of it for this winter. Now that you've enjoyed your patio furniture, go ahead and get it all cleaned and wiped down and stored away for the season. Turn off all your outdoor faucets and drain and disconnect any of your garden hoses to prevent freezing and cracking. 
The next one might sound a little tedious, but if you have any cracks in your driveway, you might want to consider getting those fixed now. What will happen is water will get in and as the temperature drops and they freeze, the cracks will actually get worse. So this is something that not a lot of people think about, but I definitely recommend to all homeowners. Here in the Northeast, fall means lots of falling leaves, which are really beautiful, but I'm going to recommend that you rake them up as often as possible. I know that this can be kind of a pain because once you rake up your whole yard, five minutes later it feels like it's covered again but you want to make sure that you don't keep all of those leaves on the grass matting it down and holding in that moisture that could cause damage to your grass you also want to make sure they're all cleaned up and disposed of before the winter season hits which brings me to my next tip which is to keep cutting the grass just because labor day is coming on does not mean that your grass stops growing you want to make sure that you keep it watered and maintained in terms of height and you want to keep it at the right height so that as the growth slows down and eventually stops on the surface the roots continue to grow throughout the winter season speaking of your lawn if you want to have a lush healthy beautiful lawn in the spring there's a few things you can do right now in the fall to prepare for that the first one is to air raid then seed and fertilize your lawn this way it'll help promote the root growth throughout the winter to promote a healthier lawn in the spring. I'm also going to recommend that you trim any branches or shrubs that are hanging over power lines. Here in my area in central New Jersey, a lot of our power lines are above ground, not below. So if you have any tree branches or any um, shrubs or anything that's hanging over that, when the winter comes and the snow comes, it could really weigh it down or cause it to break and fall in those power lines. So you want to make sure those are all trimmed up and there's no issues with that come winter. Once you're done taking care of all of your exterior landscaping, it's a really good idea to take all of your landscaping tools and get them all cleaned up and properly stored for the winter. This includes removing the gas out of your lawnmower. This way everything's nice and clean and fresh and ready to go for the spring. It'll also help make sure that your spring landscaping equipment and tools last longer. Now that you've packed away all of your spring and summer landscaping equipment, you want to bust out anything that you're going to use this winter and test it. That means your snow blower. Test it make sure it's still working, make sure you have fresh gas for it, and go ahead and load it up and get it ready to go. You don't wanna be worrying about that, that first snowfall this winter. And the last thing I'm gonna recommend is removing those summer screens and replacing them with your storm windows. If you wanna receive a free printable version of the checklist I've discussed here, I've included a link in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching my video today. If you liked it, I hope you give it a thumbs up. And if there's anybody you know that could benefit from the information I've shared today, please share my video with them as well. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that little bell so that you're notified of the new videos I release every Monday. Have a great fall and winter season. Speeding down the road. Now I guess somebody will mow on the lawn. I really hope that bird doesn't come back. If you, let's wait for the plane. That bird is back. Pushing a lawnmower and it's really loud. Another plane. I really wish I had more battery.